Kevin from Moonlight Mantids and you're watching the Praying Mantis channel. Um, today I'm going to do a different kind of video. We're going to review some ghost care, um, ghost praying mantis care that is, and um, I'm going to set some of them up. And uh, what I'd like to do, if, uh, if you guys are interested, is to sort of follow um, a couple of ghost mantises on their journey to adulthood and sort of a start to finish. Um, you know, uh, possibly a weekly update whenever there's something to report with the uh, the individuals that I would make a new video about them, and we could just kind of follow their progress if you guys like. Um, that way, you get a more in-depth look at sort of long-term care, and we can share more information about that species specifically, since they are very popular. Um, anyway, uh, please make sure you like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. I just wanted to say that for all the years that I've been doing this, ghost mantises have always been one of my favorites, and there's a reason for that, and it's pretty clear, I think, that you can see. They just capture your imagination. Um, being a semi-communal species even means that they tolerate each other for the most part. They uh, rarely cannibalize each other unless they absolutely need to. Keeping mantids all these years um, has been a real honor, a real privilege, and uh, I never grow tired of them. They, uh, they grow every single day. Many of these mantids I've kept for generation after generation. It's truly been a wonderful time in my life. Um, they're just very elegant and very important creatures. I will, uh, I'll always treasure all the memories I've had with my mantids. I hope that, uh, you guys get the chance to have them too, so you can experience what I have. If you'll notice in the video there, um, the larger mantis to the right is the female. The mantis to the left would be the male. Um, we're gonna go ahead and raise both of these. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to name them, but I always pick a few of my favorites, and these guys out of this last hatch will represent the next generation of ghost mantids here at Moonlight Mantids. As they grow from something the size of an ant, uh, where they started from just four weeks ago, they'll grow to something uh, close to about two inches. They are somewhat sexually dimorphic, and um, in the next few weeks, as she grows, um, the female will actually do something very special and I can't wait to show you guys what that is when she does it on her own time. Although I won't be housing these two together all the time, it's very clear that these guys can be kept together without too much interest in cannibalism. Um, I do stick them in the garden from time to time or some hanging plants. Um, whenever I want to spend some time with them or just take some nice photographs. I'm just going to take a few moments here to show you guys a very basic setup that I use for raising most small nymph. It's important not to put them in too large of an enclosure when you're first raising them. It's okay for some of the larger adults um, or sub-adults, but it's very important to raise them in something like a 32-ounce cup. Um, with a lot of humidity and um, you can use something for them to climb on whether it be sticks or bark like I'm using here uh, here I am in the mantis garden just uh, getting a few pieces of this uh, creeping fig I think it's called some of its variegated and some of it isn't uh, it's really easy to cut you just pick an area that has some already rooted sections to it and it'll grow pretty much anywhere.
when you're planting these creeping fig, what you can do is use some tweezers to push them down into the substrate and help anchor them as they get started. Once we've planted the creeping fig, we can add the ghosts in. Uh, the female is to the left there and the male is to the right. Um, they have lots of water to drink. They drink the droplets off the side of the container, which needs to be maintained. Um, one spray a day is good enough and a uh, fruit fly is added in uh, roughly half a dozen or so hydei about every two days. The cloth lid added to these containers are also a great shedding surface for something small like uh, ghost mantids. Not everything at Moonlight Mantids gets a name, but uh, when I keep my breeders, they stay with me for the rest of their life, and I always label them properly, common, and then scientific name. If you guys can think of a name, put it in the comments. Anyway, I hope you liked that video. Um, uh, make sure to uh, like and subscribe. And then, uh, of course, go ahead and uh, if you are interested in a ghost mantis yourself, you can visit the uh, website where we stock some at www.moonlightmantidsllc.com. Um, we also sell the habitat kits, which I showed you during the video. Um, I just wanted to say I'm uh, really excited about making these videos for you guys. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks. Bye.